Hello, we're back with um, five most costly mistakes startups make. Five most costly mistakes startups make, and we're number two. The first one we talked about, we discussed why it was important to generate sales even before you start looking for funding or to generate sales in the process of looking for funding so that you become more attractive to funders. You can go back and listen to that because I said a lot more than I just did. The second uh, mis costly mistake that most startup businesses make is when they work with an untested partner. They're working with an untested partner. Let me give you a personal story about this. A few years ago, I was raising funds and uh, I met a guy who seemed like he really knew what he was doing and I thought to myself well we could join forces together I had clients I knew how to raise money I have clients also that I could bring along and we could raise funding from them and, and make and make some money we agreed we we wrote up an agreement <laughs> as was well, strange we wrote up an agreement but I did not do my due diligence on him I didn't really check him out. I was persuaded by his ability. Now, ability and talent does not equate to integrity. Ability and talent do not equate to integrity. Integrity is about character. And character is built over a period of time. Anyway, this particular person, we started the business, was making money, everybody was happy, then he was struggling to pay me my share. Then after a while, he just didn't pay me anything. And he ended up uh, uh, owing the clients. He made guarantees he could never meet and did not fulfill. And that, ru that almost ruined my relationships with the clients I had built up for many years. The, the saving grace, and God was so good about this, was the client said to me, you know what, Bumi, we know it's not you. We know you tried to help us. It's this particular person. So, what I'm saying to us is, you've got to test your partners before you start working with them. You've got to do, do, do some due diligence on them. Check them out. Do a financial check on them. Talk to those that they've worked with. Talk to those that, that, that are not happy with them. Why were they not happy with this particular person? What really happened? Check them out. Test them on little things. If you're going to set up a business where you're going to be having a turnover of a million pounds, test them with 1,000 pounds, with 100 pounds, and see how they relate to small amounts, to small deals. Then you can decide whether that's the kind of person you want to work with. If you work with an untested partner, it could cost you the business because when the relationship collapses, which it will if they don't have integrity and they have, they have bad character, then the business is just going to go pear-shaped also. So you've got to be working with people or partners who have been tested by you. Another thing about working with people here which is also worthy to mention is I've noticed that friends try to work together. Okay. There's a difference between being a friend and being a business partner. Sometimes you have friends that mm, you don't really, you may not, well I do, but you, <laughs> you may not want to tell them when you know, they do things that you, that you don't like. And I have to question what kind of friendship that is. But anyway, when you're in business, can that friend translate from being a friend to now being a partner? Some people have difficulty in being friends and being a partner. When you come to a partnership within the business, now I'm going to relate to you as a business partner also. I can relate to you as a friend because, because we're friends, but I'm going to relate to you as a business partner. I'm going to be saying certain things that you may think are unfriendly, but are actually good for the business. Can you handle it? If friends cannot handle being in business with you, then they should not be your business partner. Really important. I've seen groups, partnerships fall apart based on the fact that the, the friends just could not handle situations that were put, uh, 
that, that they were put in. And what tends to go on in that kind of thing is it affects the business, the business does, does, doesn't work anymore, and so now or later everything just collapses. It is very, very costly to work with a partner who is untested. Get over to my website, please, and download my book on how to start your business in 30 days. Start to your own business academy.com. That's the address. And you can email me to boomy at start your own business academy.com also with your comments. Subscribe to this channel because we're doing videos very, very often. Speak to you soon. Bye.